Hey, Blacktooth Claymation here. Check it out. Gonna be replacing these controllers with uh, some hat controllers that I bought. These are, I can't remember, I think they were about $19 a piece, maybe. Something like that. They got the clip, and you just, I don't know. You gotta put this in, and then slide it right through, and pretty self-explanatory but I, I'm still going to show you <laughs> watching the wizard all right so what I need here is like a needle nose pliers let's let's get you a little closer here so you can see what I'm doing so you got this top thing right here it's like you, you're going to need the you just turn this in the way you want it and just pull that out. I am going to try to save this controller, so we'll see how bad it is. Almost got it. Alright, see there's the clip. Got that clip out. Alright, so that should just pull out now. Nice and easy. See now, okay. That pulled out nice and easy. Let's see what happens if yours doesn't pull out easy. The rubber or sometimes gets uh, corroded to this metal, and it just it's practically welded together. Sometimes you know you can try to pull all you like, and you can't get it off. So sometimes you gotta use some penetrating oil or uh, just you know sometimes you just gotta kind of play it by ear. We'll see what you got. That came out pretty easy. Let's see if the rest does. I don't know what the rest of this it looks like. The rest to come off. I it's just got this little piece here. Just got to kind of remember how it goes back together. That's another reason I like recording these videos. That way I can remember. I can look look back at them and say, oh yeah, that's how it goes back together. Because I'm gonna put this controller away for a while until I need it on something because it's just a four-way one. I'm just going from uh, yeah. four-way to eight-way. These half ones are eight-way. I'm going to put some light on there. There we go. Got some light going there now. That way we can see what we're doing. Right now, I am just taking out these. Just using a needle nose again. I you can use a wrench and do it probably a lot quicker. This is just a trusty Leatherman. I like to have that on hand because it's like with the Leatherman you got all the tools in one really. I like to have this wrench on hand too though. I don't I don't know if I got I know I got it but I don't have it up like right here. There we go. Got it started with the needle nose and just comes off the rest by there we go get that get your washers don't lose your pieces if you're taking off your joystick I'm gonna put all them together in like a cup or something These ones are a little harder to get to in the back. Once you get them started, they usually come off easy enough. Got that one started off. What are you listening to, Weird Al over there? You listening to Weird Al? Uh, no. Yeah, that, that's what that is. Let's eat it. Sounds like Weird Al. You got you got a bunch of Weird Al on your phone, huh? <laughs> Good music. See 
see how easy that was? So there, that controller's off. But now, I want to make sure and keep that in the same position that I'm going to put this other one. That way I don't have to trace all my wires back. Hoping it's the same setup, and it is. It's basically the same setup, it just, for some reason that didn't work for a eight-way. Just worked as four-way. Here we go. Tear and open the pack here and well, it even came with that. That's cool. So yeah, it came with the little that, this, and this has the clip on the end and that. Pretty basic. Um so really, whoops, dropped my one piece. Do you have anything? Yeah, I did. It'll be all right. I didn't lose it. So this will be kind of the same thing, I imagine. So you just kind of, yep, it's got this under there. So you want to make sure and put that circle thing under there. That's pretty important. Does this belong there too? Maybe it does. Maybe I can put that back in this one. Let's put the new one in. Ooh, that's dirty. I'll show you it in a second. I'm going to put this new one in. Just wipe that rusty metal a little. I could sand that down and paint it. I probably will eventually. So, yeah, that doesn't even fit in there correctly. I don't think I need to put that in there because that didn't come with this piece. So let's just see what this looks like. Okay, that's pretty much the same thing. And now, I want to make sure I have the wires hooked up about the same. And the micro switches. These are on there pretty stiff. I don't want to break those micro switches either. Just wiggle them and take them off. that negative on the outside whoops almost busted the metal there we go that's clipped on luckily didn't break the micro switch they're pretty cheap I mean you can you don't don't be too careful you don't have to worry that bad unless it's your last one Alright, so... Try to show you a little better. Back up. See, what I'm doing here is wiggling these two cords off. You got the blue and the black. And it goes to here. And here on the on the ends, I'm gonna put the black on the ends on all of all the micro switches. But I'm just copying exactly the way I had it before. That way, I don't have to trace my wires all down. Damn. Those are tight on there. Well, they're factory. That's probably why they got, probably got crimped on or something. These micro switches are probably going to be junk after I pull this off. Yeah, I see the micro switch pulling out. Dang it. It's not good. If I show you what's going on here, this whole micro switch is pulling out. 
I should just try to hold it with whoops. <laughs> ah, I'm blinded. Here we go. <laughs> Drop my camera. Here we go. Just hold this, try to wiggle it now. Instead of breaking it. There we go. That pulled it out. Hopefully that micro switch is still good. Put it in the same place. Black on the outside on all of them. See, there's three of them. And I just, you can only use the two, so. There you go. We got these ones here. Another black. The black seems to come off easier than the. Well, I spoke too soon. That's on there pretty good, too. This black and then that, so it's like trying to get that off without breaking the micro switches is kind of a pain, but if you do break them, like I said, they're not that expensive. There, that one came off, and and these are really old micro switches, probably need to be replaced anyways. There's kind of coming off there. All right. So what colors was that? That was the green and black here again on the end. Green right here. I'll be happy to get some eight ways eight way controls on these. See that's a little loose, so you kinda wanna crimp this. Not too much though. There, that should be plenty. Yeah. It's a good tight fit now. Got one more. One more and we can attach our the joystick that I got on. Getting ready to Black right here then on the end. You don't want them to be too loose. That feels pretty good. Check your connection. Check those are good. This fell through the hole, so I hope that doesn't happen again. I don't, I don't know if it will once it's locked in place or not. I figure once the controller's through, like I'm gonna do right now, now I'm getting this. I'm gonna take this off my clip. And then, now I need to figure out what pieces go where, you know. Like there are some, there's a rubber piece here. Kind of need to figure that out. I can tell this piece goes to the end, because that's what the, so right like that. Right? Now, with the rest though. Not sure. I'm not sure what this piece would do yet. So let's take a look here.
looks like maybe it possibly go oh okay so I'm thinking maybe it goes in this hole here something like that you know let's go that way or this way something like that right maybe Now that seems a little whack. I don't know. Not really sure what this piece is for. Maybe it's not necessary. You know, it's like I hate having pieces left over, but... If it's too stupid, it's too stupid. It seems the rubber would be necessary, but it, it seems the rubber should be on the top. So I think that's the story. Okay. So where would the, would it kind of poke through this thing? Maybe. Okay. So we're learning together, folks. Shall we? <laughs> wow, I dropped it again. Great. So, uh, now we're here, you want to go grab a bite to eat? So what's happening is this piece I think does stay on here and I'm going to shove it through Alright now I'm shoving it through If I can Hold up there. Oh, maybe that ain't right. Hmm. All right, so I'm. That's the way I think I'm putting it through. And just like that. And it's gonna slide. Sorry about not being able to put the video right on it all the time. Okay, I'm going gonna go right through the hole like that then. Uh, see, that seems about the right height to me, but I'm missing the cone part. I think once I put the this part on, I think that'll fix that. Well, it's kind of confusing putting this on. They didn't really give an instruction kit for this or for this joystick. It's just this one little piece is confusing. I think that goes right into the unit. But then, but then, then you got this piece. And that goes through the washer part, the plastic washer. This here, and then it'll be in. All right, here here we go. So I was wondering about that rubber part. All right, it's probably plastic. That this part here, that has to go on the end. And uh, I started. I just figured that out because it, it kind of pushes down like that. You see that? And once you put the clip in, then it'll be held in place so it works as an eight way. Because otherwise, if you have this off. It won't even work as a four-way. See that? It's not even clicking it at all. See that? So you put that on. And voila. It fits. So now, just got to get my trusty clip on here. You see that little tiny thing? Those usually give you trouble on the other ones. Uh, they probably give me trouble on this, putting it on, but... It shouldn't be too bad. They're not rusted or anything, so might just clip right on. Uh, close, not by. If you want to have like Leatherman, like I said, or uh, needle nose pliers, any kind of pliers, and then you just kind of get the clip on. 
like that. There, should clip in place like that. Okay. Now hopefully I didn't forget to put anything else in because that clip probably be hard to put in or to take off. I don't know. It'd be just the same as the other one. So there. Here we go. Ooh, I got plugs falling off. I don't know if that's a little loose. I should probably tighten that. Let's hurry along up here. That's that, basically. So yeah. And then through the other way, I got it like that. So I'll just line it up and tighten it on. And let's check it out. All right, so I got the bolts all in there. Got the micro switches all hooked up. Got that rubber piece on there, like I said. That was kind of important. And let's see. Get a little blurry there. All right. And then that side, just kind of the same thing. So let's test it out. That. Alright, here we go. Gonna check it out. I still didn't do player two yet. And uh we're just gonna check to see if it's eight way now. I know what you were gonna do and you can just forget about it. There is no get way I did not ch get to see check it, it out. Alright. It's the Pandora <laughs> six that I got hooked up into it, and that's why I wanted to go with the the eight way. I'm waiting for it to fire up. Pandora box. Can you grab me a pop? Please. Can you grab me a pop? Thanks. Oh, Thanks. Alright, so there's the games. These aren't the regular games that are normally on the Pandora 6. These are just some games I got loaded on here. Something that would require a way. Uh, if I have any on here that require a way. Oh, well, Strider would. Whoops, that wasn't Strider. What did I pick there? Strap that down. So I got my other half controller plugged into, so I can test all of them. I'm gonna, on the back of the Pandora 6, there is a little black button for like system tests and uh, changing your settings and all that. So let me get in there and I'm gonna hit that button real quick. I keep them a little easy and close to the front so I can do that. Here we go. So you got the IO test. So there it is, it'll, now if you hit your buttons, it'll show you if the buttons work and if, if my uh, joystick configuration was correct. So let's see if we got all the angles, because it's eight ways, so now I should have all the angles. Yep. Got all that for that controller.
to reset, you just unplug the, you know, unplug the Pandora 6 to get it all reset. But, you know, it's got all the game book settings and all that. Got that lovely music to keep you going. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.